Morning folks, this is another Mighty WSH Fencing YouTube video. This is to, for, I'll tell you, I've no auto queue the new folks, but if these YouTube channels worked out, I'll be getting me in your auto queue. So this is for Robert McFarlane up in Livingston, Livingston by the way folks. Now you should commonly know that there's Bob's Home Improvement. You see to me, and everybody kens about there, Willie. Well, we'll find out. So Robert McFarlane asked the question, how do you mix your concrete for a post? How do you put a post in the ground from start to finish? So that's what this video is about this morning. But mix you're going to turn the mixer on, so you'll know hear me. I'm going to put the ballast in. See this here? Yeah, this is 10 mil ballast. Right. And you see it there, right? So I've got two cements here. It's quick set in here and just natural set, right? What we do is sometimes we set a line of fence up, we put in the fast set, 15 to 30 minutes it's set. We don't it usually work with a uh, postcrete. I've got postcrete there, some bags of postcrete there to show you the differential and the quantities and the volumes. Anyway, right, so I'm going to start the mixer, so you'll know hear me. Maybe somebody's going to be happy with that, maybe somebody's going to know want to hear the mighty WSH fencing. So here we go. Because you couldn't get a silent mixer, by the way, and you couldn't get a silent WSH fencing. Right, so, what's about a 5 to 1 mix? about three and a half like a bucket there, so that's half a bucket. Right. Then what we do is we put the magic stuff in. What I usually do is a good bucket shovel over the magic fix it, put that in, and then put some ordinary in. Doesn't do any harm, right? Then water. That'll be a shortage of this shortly. We'll need maybe go to the river and get water. Anyway, put my water in. Leave that mix away. I'm ready to run when I ready just before I come on camera. This is like blue Peter, one we made earlier, right? So here we have this here. Let's go down. And here's I'll just stop and show you before we go. There's some of the fields here. Twister. That's a speed I bought online to try it out. See, it's not a bad speed actually. We'll see how it works out. As you see, as we all ongoing, go in, you'll learn out all the uses of these fuels. Everyone's got a use for WSH fence and the mighty. Remember that name, folks. So we didn't hear the light here, we wiggle. On my bar, a wee dance. And down we go, and down we go, and down we go, and down we go. Right. I've already dug the hole out. Took 30 minutes to dig that one hole. 30 minutes, folks. That's all folk don't realise what involved getting into a fence. Now, as I tell you earlier, these are bags of postcrete, right? That's one bag in there. I've hidden them in the black bag. One bag, two bag, three bag, right? That kind of creeps roughly to that there, right? And then that there, that creeps roughly, because then that's watered down at all. So, and there's out the hole, one, two, three, four. Four buckets of soil and the rubble that was at the top, right? And here's it all, I've got this, here's another bucket of soil, right? So that's four and a half buckets of soil. Now, this is the post we're doing. We're doing panels like this here, you'll see later. But this morning's now about the panels we've made, below they're superb, and only the mighty can make them like the mighty, okay? This is how to put a post in for Bob, home improvements up there in Livingston. And you're not going to never mention Bob, okay, unless you share this post on YouTube. Right, what I've done is I've marked the post, as Joe comes around here. Now usually, a six feet fence, you must go three feet. Always six feet high fence when the post is the always go three feet. Sometimes if you can't get the date, you've got to go with, because you've got to get the cubic volume. This is my tolerance here, right? We've got this tolerance here, right? And then that's two and a half feet and that's two feet. So if you're doing a fat four feet fence, two feet, five feet, two and a half, I'd recommend to three feet. But always a six feet fence, always work three feet in the ground. Right. So, and as I tell you earlier on there, about the ballast, with the ballast up there in the pickup I showed you for the concrete. This is, this is the ballast here, right? So what you do is, a wee track, and you come in here, and you look, yet again, 
I like to explain to everybody because sometimes, and by the way, I work Imperial, so I maybe should have to have Imperial and Metric, but Metric's a bit of a struggle for me. I think it's an age thing. We've marked this stick at three feet and three and a half feet, so if in between there we'll win a watch, right? Okay, we'll win a Brucey prize. Okay, so down there we go, look at that. So I would say, we use the side, right? But, so that's all there, that's the depth, right? Because these panels are 82 inches high, right? So what we do is this, you just put a wee tickle of that in there, a wee tickle, and then you spread it, right? And there's a tick here, right? And then you just do that, wee 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 the magic porridge. You'll find that out right now. We've got our levels here. I just use this is mine, Sir Louis. Yeah, again, I keep telling you, I've named for all my tools, and you will get to learn the names of all my tools. Right. Now, this is where I am. It works, and if it doesn't, I'm going to end up egg my face. I should be able to put that post in there. Right. With the ballast, and it stands itself. You see that? That's because with that ballast in the ground, it's standing itself. Now you get your level here. This is the ground level here. Remember the post was marked with beforehand, beforehand, beforehand. And look at that. Now there you go. So now you've got to double check and see because. The panels are 82 inches high. So, what I've got to make sure that I've not went too deep, because sometimes you go too deep and it's your hair, you kind of cut and glue on. So, and I think I went too, I've been too greedy and too, too much out there, which is a good thing to let you see on camera what it's all about. No, nope, we're okay, we're going to be Ticky Debut, folks. The mighty WSH again against Ticky Debut. Then, what we do. We get our cement, the magic porridge. Bear in mind, this is quick set. You'll see it's actually starting to set already. It's starting to set already, right? Now, there we go. This is the wee spade. You'll see all my tools are concrete cover, right? So, uh, Mr. Carling was going on about that this morning. He says, my kid, well, do you know clean your tools? I said, I do, Roy, I do, Roy, I do. I said, you only go in your horse, Roy, and leave me get on with what I do. So, anyway, it's awful cleaning tools, you should clean them, but sometimes, at the end of the day, you're not. So there, right, so what we do, we put this in, right, right, just to tighten the post, right, and then we, Float. Really float ever. Now Joe is only one pair of hands. Usually Joe would hold this for me. But unfortunately, he can't do that and work the camera, can he? A can is the question. If we had a tripod camera. And I have to keep telling you, I'm going to get me an off to queue, by the way. Right. right now. Get this bit of wood. And what you do is, you go like this and get it all in here. Get it all in here. Get it all in here. See? Now, see no fences. See no fences. And put that there just to hold that there the new. Right? See that rubble we took out. It doesn't go to waste. You use it. We'll put that in there, bear in mind this is just a tightening process. We take some of this rubble and we put it around the hole to support the post to get it level. So we do. So then I'm going to do that. So I put that down there so that gives you a base. Get your level on it. See that there? If Joe comes in with the level here at the back of my shooter, behind my shooter there. We'll see the bubble bubble there, the bubble's on the bubble there, right, if you can see that, and then I'm going to do it this way, and then you'll go there, run my shooter there, now there, now that's no bad, 
that's no bad. Right, so I'm, I'm happy with that. So what you do is, you set your rubble in, get your rubble in, get your rubble in. You see it's sitting in the red this bush now, you've got to be quick here. You've got to be quick. Because when you're no quick, you're last. Okay? Bit of wood. We caught wood in Scotland, by the way. I know doing in England you caught wood. We caught wood. W I D. You need to catch up my words, my slang. Wood is wood, okay? And see the first person I see the weekend in the pub comes up and says to me, Well, are you any wood? You got a free drink, by the way, a free drink. So anybody going into Billy Bridges this weekend and comes up to me and says, Are you any wood, Wally? You'll get a free pint. There you go. That's, believe it or no, that is actually starting to set already. Then always double check your level, make sure, just check with the level to make sure you don't want it to go off. And, and that's it, look at that. Look at that, that is perfect. Now, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do my Speedy Gonzalez bit. I'm going to go up here with the, the ladder. You know the ladder? What's the ladder? What's the ladder to do with folks? And I'm mad living, okay, I'm forgetting. Too much today, too much me. Right, so here we go, folks. Right, Speedy Gonzalez, way up here with the barra. I'm no bad for printing in your all. Right, here we go. Do my highway road check, the road's clear. We don't want the green cross road man coming to me. Steps are here, so it's Hand real there. Brothers, folks. Now, this is where they call me Dead Eye Wally. Watch this, folks. Watch this. One camera going to get all the back of the We don't need that for the last loads, we just put ordinary stuff in it. Big, big, huge shovel. Get it in there. Right. I need more water. Probably I've not brought a, a proper water container. Down we go. We'll clean all this up by the way, don't worry. Ask any of my customers, we'll leave the place away we found, I feel bad. Then we're going to go with the big waggle walk. So this rubble, but in fact, you want the honest truth, I could give you some rubble. I've seen me no top and dump it and keep it. Because I've got to pay to dump it, believe it or not. Because I'm super registered, believe it or not. I am. So put this in the hole too. Thing. Right, this is a mad thing. Big heavy thing like that. Yeah again! If Joe was in the camera, he'd give me a hunt with this. You think Joe's been flying with that and did the camera deliberately? He's smiling, he's smiling. Aye.
just get it set right. Make sure it's set right. Goes in with the camera. You can see that there. That's perfect. Right. And then you can come to the back of it. And you just set it a tickle. Because the way the panel will put in that wee tickle. See, I've got to there just have a wee tickle. You want that. Because see, the panel weight goes on it. It squares up. I'll put the big single way on it. This is the daddy single way. Right. And then... Make sure. Perfect, perfect, perfect. The way I want it, you so see that wee bit there? The panel will pull down the way and it'll sit level. If you sit it there, then it'll end up there. And then, but you've got to make sure it's spot on there. And it is spot on there if Joe goes this to the bottom of my shoulder. You see that spot on there, tickety boo, right? But lay that sit like that over now. And then the panel goes on in between there and that's it. So, foolishly, we've no enough water. The water's in the garage. I don't kind of open the garage all this time. Take me too long. But I've done the basics here. We'll put another bucket of ballast in there. Level it up about three, four inches below ground level. Tied it up with chips. Reinstate the mono block and everything. And that's what we do. And these are some of the tools, as I said earlier on. That's my magic speed there. That's 30 year old, that speed. That was made with a Stuart Stevens and partner many years ago. He worked at Benson Spirit, Spirits, no longer there. Unfortunately, these trades are no longer about craftsmen who make these kind of things for sector now. They don't realise people out with our job, how valuable these tools are. And this is my head at Benson. You buy these now, the, the big boys are now going into the ideas of the tools that I used to get made years ago that you couldn't buy are now become freely available. But that's a, a shoot, Stephen's the Spade. The blue one out there you've seen earlier on, that's now you can buy them openly in the market. It shows you the big companies are starting to see the market in it. There must be money in it if they're making them. So that's basically it. So to Bob or Robin McFarlane up there in Livingstone, that's how we do a post. And then we'll put the line on there. We'll get our line on there. We've got lovely panels we've made it 82 inches high, five feet wide. Two going here, and then we're going to come round here and we're going to make the famous mighty WSH fencing gate. So I don't know how this works with YouTube. This is just a start, this is my second video. So I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel. So get it spread, get the word out there about the mighty WSH fence and see if they cut my hands off. I'd be a dummy. So catch you all later, folks, and keep sending messages and your inquiries about other things like Rick B up in five about his hinges. I've thought of his problem out. The message is, keep them coming in. If I can help you in any way, I'll keep you right and make it easier for you. And the realms of fencing. No fantasy fencing. Catch you all later, folks.